Well, earlier I spoke to Tasneem Akinji, who's the lawyer for the Begum family. I began by asking if he thought her recent comments suggested she was still in the grip of ISIS ideology. Well, I think it's very difficult and, frankly, troubling that we take the statements of a young woman who's in a camp with 36,000 other people, many of who are ISIS supporters, in YPG territory, without thinking about the fact that her words are going to have a direct impact on her where she is right now. So we need to take that into account, that if she were to speak out fundamentally against ISIS right now, when the cameras are off her, she may well be in severe danger. So what we are imploring people to do is, and our government to do, is to take her to a place of safety and then question her properly with professionals. And on the back of what evidence comes out, then she is to be treated by a process of law. Well, the security minister was quite clear that, you know, British personnel would not be sent in to sort of support or rescue uh, Shamima in any way. What do you make of that? Well, I think his statement came on the basis of a fallacy in that he said um, he didn't want to send British personnel and risk their lives to bring her back. But we have a British journalist there quite happily walking around interviewing her. It's a, it's a camp that's well protected by the YPG, uh, relatively well resourced. And so there's no real risk to any individual going in there in an official capacity to, um, to help her. Given the fact that she's sided with a group that has attacked European cities, that has killed British citizens, taken others hostage, and potentially has broken the law by being part of that terrorist group, she should be prosecuted, shouldn't she? She was a 15-year-old girl when she went out there. And we say, and Bernard Hogan Howe at the time, he was the head of the Metropolitan Police, recognize the fact that um, she'd be treated as a victim. In terms of what's happened since then, uh, she's, she's reached adulthood and what evidence there is around any further crimes that she may have committed as an adult, then certainly she ought to answer for what she's done. Because now as an adult, she says she doesn't regret going. And that does put a slightly different um, perspective on it, doesn't it? As an adult in a camp with ISIS supporters surrounding you, she says that. Um, if we can get her to a place of safety where she, her safety can be guaranteed, there's no duress around her, no fear of consequence, then let's see what she says then. Do you think that as a 15-year-old she was a victim of grooming? Oh, absolutely. Being a normal 15-year-old, unfortunately, doesn't protect you from being a very traumatised victim um, in the current state, really. And she's one of those victims, or was one of those victims, uh, of grooming in the ISIS context. Just finally, you've been in touch with the family. How Give us a sense of their reaction to what um, has been reported today. Oh, it's an absolute shock. Um, and they are, they are trying to process this, really. And, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a devastating thing to have lost a daughter, an amazing thing to have found that the daughter is alive. Um, and now they're processing the, the death of two grandchildren as well. Um, I can't imagine to put myself in their position, even though I'm not them, the situation is emotional, um, and I hope that they can come with a clear line that they can take forward and hopefully move forward, but it's all behind them at some point. But they feel quite conflicted at the moment. Absolutely. On the one hand, they miss her terribly, but on the other hand, are they shocked and appalled by what they've heard her say? Well, I, I mean, I, ha I, haven't, I haven't gone into that, really. I, I, I don't think it's appropriate for me to throw any further variables into the mix. The, the first thing they need to do is to sort out as a family, how they want to orientate themselves towards a family member in, in this circumstance, and then we'll take it from there.